Yeah, it's kind of funny, but uh, yeah, I made games. I actually made games. So uh, I have the credentials to criticize others when, you know, I made games. You guys can't criticize them. That, that's a bad game. You got to make a game in order to criticize shit. And my games were all bad, but, you know, I, I have the credentials. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, so I made a game with a friend back in 2008. Uh, sorry, burpee. Uh, Morty. Morty. Anyway, uh, sorry. Totally unrelated, but yeah, I made a game with a friend, and uh, we made a side-scrolling RPG. This is not RPG Maker, no. Uh, we made it on our own. Uh, I made the graphics. He coded it, and uh, yeah, we made a game together called Shadow of Skull Mountain. Um, it's very cool, actually, and I regret never finishing it with him. And to this day... Um, we still talk about this game, like, fuck, we should go back and finish it, and blah, 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 blah. But, uh, we never did, and it's it's a fucking shame, because the game had great potential, it really does, and you'll see that in a, in a moment. But it's incredibly buggy and horrible, and, yeah, there's also a lot of, like, missing sounds, and blah, 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 but, uh, generally, uh, it's, it's playable, sure. It's my game, man! Yeah! Yeah, pre-beta, one, two! I can't remember how old this is, but, uh... Yeah, so, um, this is my game, uh, has a shitty as fuck, uh, menu, but, you know, stock, we could we didn't have time to do it, but, uh, regardless, the music is dope, uh, you know, stolen, stolen NES music makes for the best soundtrack, actually, let me, let me jam out to this. So good. <laughs> Regardless, here's the game. One, two, three, and go! Yeah, that's my game, man! Yeah, look at that, look how terrible it is! Yeah! And, oh my god, the orcs are killing me, and they, they, they are stuck in the same animation. That's the health. And, fucker. Alright, give me the health. Alright, so that, that's, that's my game, man. Uh, it's, it looks better than you'd expect, huh? Uh, but, uh, yeah, here it is. It's, it's, it's neato. You run around as this little testicle man, and, uh, yeah, you swing your sword. Here's the skill menu, um, which is the greatest. Um, so we got Unholy Blood, which is a passive ability that gives you 50 additional HP. I haven't leveled up yet, and the music has stopped, so, uh, yeah, good, good game, good so far. Um, here comes the boss, you know, the, the orc boss. Here we go. Not a traveler, but promise mask! And you're like, oh shit! So what you do here, my health is going on, you click on the potion, and boss is dead. Well, that, that went quicker than I expected, but anyway, we leveled up, and we get 106 gold. And we have our first town. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the best artist ever, because I can't draw trees, but, you know. Here's the end. Uh, you can sleep here if you want. Uh, I don't need to, however. But, uh... uh there's also a... Uh, an Easter egg in this. This little uh, mouse that scurries over here, but I don't remember if this this one has it. Um, there's also a quest you can get here um, from this guy. Greetings, traveler. I seek someone with a desire to eradicate our forest from the ox. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go and uh, not buy potions, but I'm gonna go to the mountain. And this is not the Skull Mountain, though, but uh, here's the Ogre Mountain. That's right. And. Yeah, I gotta check my health here. And you should be dead. Now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, what do you think of my game? Is it is it great? I'm used to... You can't outrun these guys, but... Um, I'd rather you sit and grind. Well, let's see here. Uh, I'm kind of close to dying. Oh yeah, by the way, when you kill the ogres, they, they do this, like, uh, you know, uh, Sudoku move. They, they, they kill themselves. They'd rather go out in glory. But, uh, yeah, alright, I'm gonna take a potion here. I have no health left, so I hope I can survive this. Oh god, my health is going down. My health is going down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. I think this is the last guy. Alright, let's hope I, he doesn't kill me before he kills me. Oh, I'm gonna do that, I don't know. I have no potions! Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, good. 
All right, so here's the crate, which I don't know why why uh, me and my friend did this, but the crate has like HP and its own health bar, which makes no sense. You just smash it open. Hang on. I guess we got 10 potions. Um, whatever. I leveled up so I can get another point. And we also got vampiric stuff, which I don't think we caught it in actually, so... Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna do more Unholy Blood, uh, but that deletes that, so next one is Dark World Run, which again sucks. It just lags the game out. It's kind of ridiculous, but, uh, all right, Ogre. Fuck off Shrek with this guy. Again, you can outrun the screen if you want. No, no, the crate's, the crate still has an HP bar, but it doesn't actually, uh, Morty. Uh, it doesn't actually have, well, an entity anymore, so that sucks. Um. Uh, I'm gonna kill some more ogres here, because I still have the 10 potions I got from the, uh, the initial encounter. But then I'm gonna get the cleaver, which looks ridiculous. It's basically like a, like a taped together piece of murder fucker weapon. You, you'll see it in a second when I buy it. it it's fantastic. But, uh, yeah, here's Dark Whirlwind, which, um, uh, we were, we were smart enough to actually hotkey. So if you wanna use it, you can just press 1 and this happens. Not the best attack, but, uh, it'll help when you stack a damage on enemies, I suppose. But anyway, we have the, the cleaver now, which, again, looks like a piece of shit, but it's great. Check this out. Slow weapon, actually. But look at this, it's, it's like a... It's a murder fucker weapon, look at it. <laughs> it's just a jagged blade stuck with tape and a stick. You know, it's like a giant steak knife, yeah, pretty much. The steak knife of death. <laughs> Alright, fuck off. Fuck off. By the way, th this guy's got his eyeball out. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you gotta admire my graphic skills here. Look at those trees. <laughs> Alright, here's the boss. Oh shit, I, 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 see what I mean with the health? You gotta like, click each time. <laughs> this sucks. Wait a minute, I have this. Oh god, I don't wanna die now. Oh god, I don't see any potions I have. No fucking background. Okay, I'm out of it. Oh, please kill him, please! Oh. There we go. Thank you, Traveler! Our orc force is now 100% orc free! Here's your payment! Thousand gold has been added. Yeah. Let's get the, the Lao Blade. Lao Blade's cool, check this out. It burns! Fuckers! <laughs> I have the power of a thousand suns now! Die! 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 <laughs> Fuckers! Ah! All right. You know, if I ever did uh, develop this more, then I would probably um, add more areas to like fuck around with. Because that orc quest you get in the end is like the only place or thing you do in this one town. It's grindy like Mother One. Yeah, kind of like. But yeah, once you're done with this this place, you can uh, go ahead and click continue travel and. Face satanic zombies! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Alright, here's the blood gate. You probably shouldn't go in here because it's full of necromancers. There's a blood gate. Spooky place. And again, thank god we got all that um uh, that stuff. You know, the potions, because you'll need it. Oh. oh man. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. Again, you got you gotta have a constant uh like uh, what, what should I call it? Uh, you gotta check on your health and just click on the potion thing over and over and over and over again. All right, I think this is where the wizard is. The wizard is incredibly strong. So watch out! Ah, fuck off, wizard! Ah, fuck off, wizard! Ah, fuck off! There we go. Thanks for eradicating our te teleport gate. Which is not uh, intentional. Our teleport gate from the wizard. Now people can visit our town again! All right, I don't know why he sounds like the pirates, but all right. Here's the second town. I haven't done the inn yet, but here's the armor stuff. Uh, now, if you're cool like me, you get the Berserker armor. But, uh... Um, I don't have the money for that. But I have the Iron Pad armor, which is not as cool. So, uh... Yeah, here's... You can also get bows in this. Uh, I don't know why, uh... All this stuff is under swords. It's not a sword, but, uh... Morning Star of the Flame, Butcher Blade, and the Blood Sword, which is the best. Butcher Blade is kind of like uh, uh, guts a sword. It's just a big old piece of shit, which is great. Oh god, it's stuck. The thing is stuck here. Great. 
Traveler, we need your help. Recently, several large holes have popped up, and with that, hideous monsters are crawling out of them. To make it simple, we need to go down and exterminate the source of this. Well, I guess I gotta go. I gotta go. Wait a minute, I should decline first. Um, How do I save? <laughs> I actually gotta ask that. Hang on. Really ridiculous thing, but Jesus Christ, I forgot how to save in my own game. Here's these uh, giant zombie turds. They explode. Oh yeah, I have the death beam now, and death beam on the screen! Fuck. Alright, have this fucker. Oh, I forgot. Oh, shit. <laughs> I died! Damn it! And I forgot to save. Or I, I didn't. I don't know how to save. So uh, yeah, if you if you die and you're stuck in the loading, you gotta just reset the game. Isn't that great? <laughs> what a what a terrible game. Uh, yeah, I believe there's there's like a a hidden thing we put in. Like if you click on something, it gives you infinite HP or something like that. But um, yeah, hang on. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I consider this way better than Barbecue Quest. I know some of you are like, No, this is not better than Barbecue Quest. Well, I think so, because this has more gameplay, in, in, in a sense. See, I can criticize this game, and I can call it a piece of shit, because I made it. <laughs> if, if this was released on, like, uh, Albino Black Sheep back in the day, I'm sure people would uh, really like it. It's one of those, like, uh, uh, slacking off at work games. It's really not hard to play, but it's just... There's not a lot to it. I gotta say, the, the way the characters bounce, it's very hypnotic. It, it's great. Let's get rid of that guy as well. Alright, now I can actually buy the, the, the greatsword without... Alright, check this out. I think it's actually burning blue. So I take that back. Leoblade burns... purple. This burns blue. Yeah, check this out! <laughs> yeah, look at me. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> look how ridiculous it is. It's pretty neat, though. Oh, it, oh, fuck, dude, it's got an eye on it. I forgot I added that. I think the eye blinks as well. Does it? I don't know. But at least my character blinks. You know, realism. Yeah. I kill him so hard he glitched out. What the fuck? I'm killing them so hard that they don't know if they're gonna die or just attack. I, what the fuck? All right. Okay, hard quest. Uh, look at the mustache. Now I can buy the Berserker armor, right? Almost! You know what I could do? I could... I could, uh... Get the Butcher Blade! Yeah, let's get the Butcher Blade. Alright, here we go. Yeah! Listen to the sound! <laughs> it's a cl clonk. Clonk. Alright. Your dad will pass a necromancer, and I will pass a couple of little bit more. Oh man, we didn't fuck off. Nope. Dumbass. So a necromancer was behind all this? I thought necromancy was outlawed years ago! Anyway, thanks for helping us. Yeah, boy. Um, there's a big problem. Uh, this is where the game ends. Oh no. Damn it. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> yep, this, this is where the, we, there's nothing beyond this, unfortunately. But, with a little bit of trickery, I can cheat my way through here, hang on. Uh, wait. If you, if you fuck around with the code, you can just do this, hang on. <laughs> oh my god, alright, you know what I could do, hang on. If I can just... Do this. Alright, you know what I could do? And I can buy the Berserker armor, and I can get the Blood Sword! Ready for this? Here we go. And I can just, uh, do this, yeah? Ha! Lightning fucker! Look at this! Ain't I the coolest? That's what I remember about this, it was so cool. Not only do you swing your sword, but you also, like, literally shoot satanic death magic. Unlimited power! Oh yeah, you know what it also does? It drains health, that's what it does. So I can just uh, do this. You know, fuck with me, I'll just take your health. It's not really effective though, but, uh... There you go. Do this, yeah. 
It's not impressive. It sucks. Like, that's one thing that this game really doesn't need. A bow. Because all the enemies just launch towards you, so a bow is just terrible. Now, we added the bow because uh, it can pierce multiple targets at once. But in this gameplay, it's totally... Uh, like, ugh, sucks. It sucks. Yeah, the only way to play uh, Elder Scrolls is off-stream with nude mods. Which, they're really funny, Morrowind has like a like a better bodies mod or something like that. And it's like, it's recommended every time for like, you know, like a new install of Morrowind if you don't want to play vanilla. Like, you need to download these mods. They are the objectively best ones for a good experience. And people always recommend better bodies for Morrowind. And it, it's a mod where everybody's nude. And they have like really engorged genitals. Like, th 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 all the males have like really big donks. You know, like really schlongy dicks. And the women have like G fucking like G cups, and it's just like, how is this adding to my immersion? It it, it looks like they're about to fuck. It's just awful. And again, I'm super super impressed how I did the morning star. It looks fantastic. Look at this. You ready for this? It's good. Look at it. It spins, and the character's just like, you know, spinning the chain, spinning the chain. Spinning the chain. This <laughs> is not <look> great. <laughs> Spin to win. Oh, there's also that clonk sound effect. What what a weird animation it did. Like you swing the thing and then you stab him. Like <laughs> <laughs> But I look cool though. Yep, that's that's Shadow of Skull Mountain, everybody. Hope you uh, hope you liked it. A uh, little charming game I made back in 2007-8, and uh, and yeah, uh, could have been worse. Could have been worse, but uh, yeah, that's my silly little side-scrolling hack and slash game. Uh, cool little thing. Wish I made more, but uh, yep, that's that's how you do it. <laughs>